so I'm thinking about humanity. I'm thinking about where we are and I suppose what humanity is. And so that's made me think about how we got here. And I'm thinking that humanity works because we can communicate with each other and we have stored our knowledge and we share our knowledge and develop what we know over time. And we've held on to that knowledge. So even as we grow old and die, we have developed means to share information and save information so that we increase in our knowledge and our complexity. So I'm thinking about how we got here. So it seems to me that we started with the spoken word. We had old wise men who held on to our knowledge and shared our knowledge and enabled us to utilize our knowledge. So we relied on old wise men to hold on to what humanity is and hold on to our inventions and our ideas and our knowledge. So we relied on old wise men to hold on to humanity's knowledge and our development. And then we moved on to the written word. So I moved on to newspapers and magazines and books. And then books became essential as our store of knowledge and how we held on to our expertise and our development. Everything was held within books. Books were essential for the growth of humanity. All of our knowledge and expertise, all of our development was held within books. But we moved on from books as well, we've added to books. Books are still valuable. But we've also added radio to our communication and our knowledge sharing. And then we added television to what humanity is and how humanity held on to its development and its knowledge. So we have books, television, and after television, what did we add? We then added cinema, but that was more entertainment as well, I suppose. And after television and cinema, we've added the internet. So we, we are at the stage now where we have the internet connecting humanity. So humans on earth are acting in a sense, like neurons in the brain. Every human is like a neuron in the brain. And the internet is acting like a brain for the earth. So the earth has a brain in the shape of the internet. So the internet is essentially a brain. And all of the people on earth are acting like neurons within that brain. So I'm thinking the brain has an earth, is, sorry, the earth has its own brain. And there have to be other planets out there with other humanities, other species living and they are acting in the same way as us. So there are other planets out there with their own populations of people in whatever shape they take. What I'm thinking is that we need to hold on to our knowledge. It's vital that we hold on to our expertise and our development, everything we've, not, we've acquired in knowledge. Now we've used newspapers and magazines and books to hold on to knowledge and communicate and we've depended on those things to develop and increase our civilization over time 
so with Luber and with Stolar, to an extent dependent on books as a store of all of humanity's knowledge. Since books, we've added the internet now to our store of knowledge, to what humanity is. So the internet holds on to our knowledge, all of our knowledge, and enables the sharing of that knowledge completely to everybody on the planet. So it is amazing how we developed and grown in our knowledge and expertise over time and we've held on to that knowledge and we share our knowledge via the internet. So we come from newspapers and to talking to newspapers to radio to books and television and now we're at the internet. So what I'm wondering is is there anything that can surpass the internet in terms of how we communicate and how we hold on to our knowledge and how we develop our knowledge and share our knowledge or is the internet the ultimate in our development i'm thinking it just might be close to the ultimate because the earth is like a body and the internet is like a brain for that body so we have created an entity, which is like the, a brain in the shape of the internet and then the body of the earth. And that seems like an entity in its own right. And it seems to be the way things will work over time. And there are bound to be other planets out there with their own humanities, which are acting in the same way as we are. So they will have their own humanities acting like a brain for their earth, their vision of the earth. And then one day we will start to connect to each other because we would act like neurons in the brain. The whole earth would act like a neuron within a larger brain. And all of our planets might connect and then the whole galaxy or the whole universe will act like a brain, a single entity. And our development will be absolutely amazing. So what I'm thinking is that humanity is dependent on the earth for survival. So humanity is acting like a brain for the earth. And so we are completely dependent on the earth for our survival. But surely we will look to expand and develop, move to other planets as well, so that we're not dependent just on one planet for our survival. And it's risky to be dependent just on one planet. There are too many things that can happen that could wipe out all of humanity. So I think in time we will look to spread the other planets to grow. And then what that will mean is that over time, we will have several planets with humanity on these planets. And then those planets will be the same as neurons within the brain. And we will connect these planets together so that they will start to act like a single entity so we have several planets with humanity on all of these planets and these planets will interconnect and become like a single entity, like a brain. So we will create a brain in time composed of several planets with humanity on these planets. And then the development of humanity will increase in the speed and we will achieve so much is this awe inspiring to wonder where humanity might go if we start to grow on several planets but as a single entity a single brain composed of several planets with humanity on them it's amazing where humanity might go and what i'm wondering 
is, is there anything that can surpass, surpass the internet in terms of our development and our sharing of knowledge and our store of knowledge, our communication? Is there anything that can surpass the internet or is the internet the ultimate means of communication, the ultimate means of storing knowledge? Because the internet is acting like a brain for the earth. So we've created like a larger human being in the shape of the internet. 